Today we're going to discuss angles and triangles. The angles inside a polygon are called interior angles. When the sides of a polygon are extended, other angles are formed. Angles outside the polygon that are adjacent, which we know means next to, the interior angles are called exterior angles. The interior angle measures of a triangle. The sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. We know that all triangles have three angles, but if you add all their interior angles, you will get 180 degrees. Algebraically, we can see the picture of the triangle X, Y, and Z are three angles. If we add those three measures together, X plus Y plus Z, we should equal the 180 degrees. So let's see how that works. In the triangle here, we are trying to find the value of the X. So when you look at your angle measures, we have an X. The second degrees would be the 32 and then the third angle is a 48. And all of those, because it's a triangle, will add up to 180 degrees. So now we can combine like terms. 32's and 48's can go together. X plus 80 equals 180. We would then use our equation solving skills to subtract 80 from both sides to isolate the x value. So x must be 100 degrees. Now for the triangle for B, we got a couple things going on. Remember that if I have the box that is telling me that I have 90 degrees at that angle. Don't forget it because you don't see a number there and leave nothing. So once we know that we have a 90, if I add together my angles, I have 90 plus x for this one here plus x plus 28 which equals the 180. Now this time when I do my like terms, we have x's and x's. We know that each one of those is 1x, so 1x plus 1x is 2x. Again, we have numbers that can be added to other numbers or constants. 90 plus 28 is 118. And again, we still have to total our values of 180 degrees. Now, two-step equations, which we did back in the fall, we would say multiplication, we would see addition, but SADMEP would tell me to take care of the addition first. And remember, we take care of the addition by undoing it, which is use the inverse operation. So we subtract 118. That is now going to leave us with 200, uh, 2x, not 200, equals 180 minus the 118 which is 62. We would then divide by the 2 and x value is 31. Now since they are only asking us to find the value of x, this is your final answer. If they had asked us for the degrees of each angle, then we would need to look at the angles and go from there, but for this question it was asking just for the x. x is 31. Now it's your turn. Below here we have two triangles, number one and number two. Um, we will do this as we have done in the past, where I will um, give you the solutions, and if you want to try these first, just hit pause on the video, and then when you are ready, you can hit go, and the answers will be there. So I'm going to hit pause and let you do some work.
So again, we have a triangle with three angles, x plus 81 plus 25, and all triangles add up to the 180 degrees. 81 and 25 can be combined to get 106 degrees. We would subtract the 106 from both sides to help isolate x. 180 minus 106 is 74 degrees. For this next one, again, we have a couple of variables in our angles, and it's not just a couple of numbers, but with the same idea. We take the x minus the 35 is the first angle. We add x, and we add 43, and those three angle measures should add up to the 180. And again, here we have x and x, so we have two x's. Now notice here, we actually have minus 35 plus the 43. Well, negative 45, 35 and 43 is going to give me a plus 8. It's very important that you keep that minus sign there in front of the 35 because it is not adding 35, it's actually subtracting 35. So we need to make sure we combine those like terms correctly. Now again though, we are at a two-step equation. So SADMEP would say take care of the plus 8 before the times 2. We do the inverse operation, which is to subtract 8. That is going to give me 172 equals 2x. We would then divide by the 2, divide by the 2. That is going to leave us with x equals 86 degrees. Now again, in this case, if we are trying to find the degrees of each angle, the x degree angle is 86, but then we'd have to plug in the x minus 35 to find the lower left-hand corner one. 86 minus 35 is 51. So the angle of this lower left-hand corner one is actually going to be 51 degrees and the upper one is the 86 degrees. So next we want to talk about the exterior angle measures of a triangle. Now these are the angles that when you extend each of the sides, the angle on the outside, remember exterior from the alternate exterior angles, exterior means outside. So the exterior angle in this picture off to the right is this angle Z. That is the exterior angle. Okay, So in words, the measure of an exterior angle is the sum, which we know is the addition of two, non-adjacent angles in the triangle. So what we are looking at is the outside exterior angle, Z, in the picture, is going to be the sum of x plus y, which are the two interior angles that are not adjacent or next to angle Z. Remember, the angle next to angle Z is adjacent, so that is not the ones we are talking about. It's the two further ones away, the angle X and the Y. So what does that mean algebraically? Well, it basically means that Z, which is our exterior angle, is the sum of or equals x plus y. Those are the two non-adjacent angles that are the interior angles of that triangle. So let's try one. Well here you have a number in letter A, a triangle where one of the sides is extended and we want to know what is that x degree, which is the exterior angle. So as the algebraic formula tells us, x equals 36 and 72, the sum of those two angles, which are the non-adjacent interior angles, will give me that exterior angle. 36, 72 is 108 degrees. On to the next one. This one again has a couple more variables to it. 
but it's the same idea. Our exterior angle, which is out here, 2a, equals the sum of the two interior angles that are non-adjacent, which is the a minus 5 and 80. Well, again, we have to kind of combine a few things. So if I do 2a equals a, I can combine the negative 5 and the 80. Negative 5 plus 80 is going to give us positive 75. Now, we don't have our variables together, but remember when we did variables on both sides, what we did was simply move the variables together. I can go to the left and I can move them to the right. In this case, I'm going to take the variable a from the right hand side and subtract it from both sides. What that's going to do though is give me a minus a is 0, leaving me with just the 75. Then on the other side, 2a minus a I can do because they are like terms. 2a minus a gives me a. Now, since they are asking for the exterior angle in the directions, we are not finished yet. The exterior angle is 2a. Therefore, we need to take our value for a and plug it in. 2 times 75 is 150 degrees. So therefore, this exterior angle is 150 degrees degrees. Here are some examples for you to try, and these will be our last two examples for this section. So again, um, pause the video, and when you are ready to come back to your answers, um, you can hit play again, and we will have the answers for you. Okay, for number three, again, our formula is y the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior non-adjacent angles, so 40 and 30. So very simply, this one, the exterior angle y is 70 degrees. The last one here is a little more complicated, but again, same ideas. Our exterior angle is this one on the outside. So our formula is going to be 4n minus 20 equals the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So 2n plus 20 plus n. Now, we've got some combining to do. We've got some variables to move to both sides. So first, I want to focus on the right-hand side. We see n's and n's. Well, 2n plus 1n is 3n's plus 20. The other side we have not done anything with yet. Now, I want to get my variables together. And again, I can put the n's to the right or the n's to the left. In this case, again, like the last one, I think I am better to bring the 3n's to the left. That is going to cancel them from the right-hand side, leaving me with 20. And on the left-hand side, 4n minus 3n is n minus 20. Now, to finish and get the n's completely by themselves, I need to use the inverse operation to move the 20 to the other side. So those will cancel there, leaving me with n equals 40. Now again, because we are trying to find the measure of the exterior angle, we do have a little bit more work to do. The expression for the exterior angle is 4n minus 20. So we need to plug it in. We plug the n for the 40 and subtract 20. That becomes 160 minus 20, which equals 140 degrees. So our missing angle is 140 degrees. It's not a difficult section. There is some things going on that we need to really pay attention to and make sure you understand. 
especially the ones with more of the algebraic expressions involved. So please make sure that you are recalling all of the one and two step equations that we did back in the fall. Also notice that everything was equaling in triangles to the 180 degrees and then work through very carefully with your positives and your negatives and I think you should find this section is not too difficult.